Hello, everyone. I'd like to show you some of the intricacies of the Chopin Versus. Not to play it yet, it's not ready yet, but I want to uh, go through it and show you some of the things that are involved. And it's a very complex piece, and it's got to sound simple. <laughs> it's a cradle song, the Versus, Opus 57. So it's in 6-8 time. So the cradle rocking is from beat one to beat beat four, and beat four back to beat one, up to beat one. So it's each half bar has to balance with the other half bar, but the dynamics change. For example, it goes soft, but then getting softer. One, two, three. So four, five, six has to be lighter than one, two, three. And yet they have to balance. It's like a shoe here and a shoe here, and the contents have to be equal. So except that it's eighths for the first set of three, and then an eighth and a quarter for the second. So it's one, two, Now the melody is dolce cantando. So it's got to sing sweetly. So you got to, then it's got to go lighter even lighter and then an accent over to that one and again lighter so counting it it's one two three I shouldn't have bumped that note out that's got to be quieter so one thirds chromatic so <laughs> in triplets so that's very difficult and I wrote in the fingering so that I can memorize it properly but it's still difficult it's got two decrescendos the first bar is a decrescendo and then beat six is that a little accent and crescendo up to and then it, the bigger part and then it gets quieter from there on down that's it needs an octave higher so one two three four five six if you counted for each of the eight six eights if you put a triplet it's one two three four five so one one two three four five six goes then this now it starts a crescendo so and that's just a decrescendo de descending chromatic scale of double thirds. So each of the eights has a triplet of double thirds on it. So it's that's not easy. I'll have to practice. 
practice it. So I'm going to take that all apart completely and do an even practice on it. So I go to... So where the others were triplets, these are eights now, so it's one and two. second of each triplet so because it, it's, it's a scale passage, but then it puts a semitone in there. So it goes right there. That's a, an F flat. So. If that gives you some ideas into the piece, once you hear it played, you'll see how beautifully it's composed and put together. But uh, six pages of very difficult music. Anyway. <laughs> 